in this mess I up was. while we go on with the show and meet Scott and the gang down at the magic workshop you to pick up more up. tips. You're going to clean that up. Are okay? you going to clean it up? <laughs> Just in time. Right. Have I got some things in store for you today? You know, when somebody's who was it said to me last week? Justin, I think he said to me, "What about doing something with balloons?" So I've decided to do a, a whole feature today on balloons and different things you can do using magic because you can find balloons anywhere. I mean, I've got all these balloons, <laughs> and a little later I'll even give you some, and you can blow them up, you can burst them. We're going to have all sorts of fun. <laughs> all right? But each time we do it, we're going to do a little bit of magic at the same time, so that when you're at a party or something like that, someone's got a balloon. You you can say, hey, wait till you see this trick, and you can do a magic trick. First of all, though, I think I should start off with a trick that's going to amaze all of you. And what I'm going to do is take a balloon, anyone you like, which one would you like me to use? Pick a balloon, any balloon. Go on, which one? A green <coughs> balloon? All right, uh, a green balloon, we'll blow it up. <laughs> now, you know I've got a very magnetic personality, a lot of magnetism in my personality. What I'm doing is, what are you laughing at? I'm going to blow all this magnetism into this balloon. Do you see it all in there? Hot air. You mean hot air? It's not hot air, it's magnetism. Yeah. I'll blow it out there and I'll even... What are you worrying about? It's, yeah, well, I know, it gets a bit, a bit funny. I'm going to tie a knot in it, OK? And then I'm going to ask Justin, would you just hold that balloon there for a moment for me? I've also got a packet of cards. Now, who's going to be in, in charge of picking a card for me? Who can I trust? Can you be trusted? All right, what I'll, what I'll do is ask you just to pick a card, anyone you like. That one, take it, have a look at it. And then once you've had a look at it, you can pass it around to the next person to have a look at. That's it, you can show it to me too. All right, six of hearts, show it to all the way around so that people can see it. All right, now you've got to remember what your card is, of course. You've got to remember it's a six of hearts. When I ask you, I don't want you to say, oh, I think it was a seven of diamonds or something. All right, so once you're happy, put it back on top. And then, here's where I want your help, Justin. I want you all to think of your card. What was it? Six of, six of hearts. And remember, they're not all six of hearts or anything else. They're a full packet of cards. I want you to do me a favour, Justin. I want you to hold the balloon right up above. That's it. And what I'm going to try and do is to get the magnetism from that card straight to the balloon. So if I put that there, I want all of you to watch carefully and think of your card, think of the six of hearts, and let's see if the magnetism itself is enough to draw the card out of the pack and to the balloon. You've got to concentrate, really concentrate. Let's hold all the balloon, all the, all the cards still. Wait a minute, there's, there's movement. There's movement. There's, there's movement, Something, something's happening here. Look at that, the magnetism is causing that all the way to the top, up, 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 up. Look at that, the six of hearts, was that it? Yeah. And all it took was, it, why is this so? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's one of those scientific things that's hard to explain. Now, of course, we're, we're not going to teach you that one at the moment, but what we're going to do a little later on is to show you a variety of things, including how you can take a, a pin, like the one I've got here in my shirt, take a balloon, burst the balloon, and make it change colour instead of bursting. <laughs> all right, would you like to learn that? And we might even show you one a little later on as well, where we can take a pin and put it in the balloon and not burst the balloon at all, and leave the pin in and pull it in and out of the balloon without bursting it. But first, things first. I've got to clean up and get organised here, then we'll get underway with some real magic, OK? Right after this break. Can I have a balloon? got balloons you haven't got any you hold on to those two you want it too as well oh yes please there we go Thank uh, you. Uh, the that one? Color. no you've got a balloon oh, you know, i'd really like you to show me the trick how you change the color of the balloon oh you want to see that one first do you yeah. um all right well can i use borrow that balloon yeah, use this. all right well look here's all you do the first thing you do is need a balloon blow the balloon up you know good and strong then it's simple you need a pin 
You take a pin on. Now I've got a pin here. You can use any pin. You can, if you've got a little baby brother or sister, you can use one of their safety pins or something. All you need is something with a very, very sharp point. If you're lucky, you could even use a pencil. You know, if you're in school or something, you don't have a pin, you can use a pencil. Make sure it's nice and sharp. And then you've got to find the right area. You've got to find the soft spot on the balloon. Now, a soft spot can be really, say, anywhere at the top here. Then you've just got to use a little bit of magic because at the time that you're pushing into the balloon, you've got to say to yourself, magic, 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 magic. All right, now try that all together, everybody. Magic, 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 magic. magic. That's magic. it, that's it. And once you're doing that, all you do is pass it over the top. Ready? Say magic, 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 and say it louder, louder, magic, magic, louder. Magic, 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 magic. You see? Disappeared. Now, what we're going to do, that's when you take a balloon, right? and you just make it disappear. And that's what would you would happen if you didn't use magic, right? Yeah. However, if you're using magic, all you do is use, instead of one balloon, use two, right? You've got two balloons, one inside the other. Now, because you don't show anybody that, and the first thing you do is blow up the inside balloon. Now, you've got to watch carefully, because this is pretty tricky. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Hang on, we can do it. Right? Blow up the inside balloon and tie it in a knot. Or if you can't tie it in a knot, get mum to tie it or one of your big brothers or something like that. Tie it in a knot. Once you've got the inside one tied in a knot, go for the second one here. Get the, the in this case, the black one and start blowing that up as well like this. Uh -oh. Don't burst it, don't burst it, but keep blowing. Right, so once you've got them both blown up, that's how you're left with. Now, remember the last balloon that I just burst for you, that one didn't have a second one inside it, okay? So when you burst it, it actually burst the whole entire balloon. In this case, where you've got two blown up there, you can take the pin, where's my pin gone? Beautiful, thank you, assistant. Take the pin, do the same pattern presentation, but this time, because you've got one balloon inside the other, you burst one, and you're left with the other, you see? <laughs> Yeah. Now, it looks easy, but it can be quite difficult. Now, I'm going to get all of you to try this. How many of you can blow one balloon inside up another? I've already helped you a little bit because I've actually put one balloon inside the other already. Justin, what about you? You can try it with those two. And I might even have a, uh, another one. Another, there's another couple. So, Katie, yes, you've got hot air as well. You try blowing it. It's not easy. Oh, by the way, if you want to get the balloon inside, okay, to get the balloon, you're doing well. It's pretty hard, isn't it? If you want to get the balloon inside the other balloon, the best way to do it is get a pencil, slide the pencil into the first balloon right down to the bottom of it, okay? Then, all right, you two, before you give yourselves hernias, can just stop there for a minute before you hurt yourselves. And watch this, because you take the first one, put it on a pencil, then carefully slide the pencil down into the second balloon. Now, you must remember, if you're going to do this, always make sure that the balloon on the outside is darker than the balloon on the inside, because otherwise you'll end up with, with a, you know, one balloon uh, of different colours on the outside, yet you'll be able to see through the inside. All right, then you start blowing it up, even if you get, as I said, mum or dad to get it started, because you can get the balloon prepared and then take it somewhere, all right, and show it to somebody else. So you start blowing it up all the way, tie the first one in a knot, then tie the second one in a knot, okay? A little later on, I'll get you to practice this yourselves, but if that's too difficult for you, there's one other thing you can do, and that is to have something like this, a blue silk. Can you see the silk? Yeah. All right, what we do is take the silk, Put it into my pocket. Now, my pocket is empty, all right, except for a tissue, all right? I'll take that. You can, there's nothing in my pocket, all right? I'll take this, put it inside there. Then all you have to do is say the, put it in there and say the magic words. Do you hear the magic words then? Yeah. Just like that. And believe it or not, by reaching back in here, you'll find that the entire silk has disappeared. And you want to know where it's gone? Hold that balloon up for me. Hold it right up. Right there. All right, after the break, I'm going to show you how you do I'll show you how you do that as well, all right? First things first, let's have a break and let's see how you're going on this balloon blow. Do you know, though, how the silk ended up getting from my pocket to the balloon? All right, well, first of all, we had, and I've lost it, we had two silks. 
All right, so we actually had two blue silks the same size to start with. Okay, and all you need to do is get a little silk and get it, make sure it's a square and put it in the balloon beforehand. Now, try and make it, if you're using a red silk, use a red balloon, or if you're using a blue silk, use a blue balloon. And it's the same thing like we did earlier with the pencil putting the balloon inside the other balloon. This time, all you do is take the silk, put the pencil on it like that, and then just carefully insert the silk straight into the balloon and make sure it goes all the way in. Then try and grab the silk through the balloon Pull the pencil back out, pull that down, pull, try and pull the balloon and just keep gently threading and pushing the balloon and the silk together inside until the silk goes all the way inside the balloon. Now in this case, in this case I'm using a red balloon so that you'll be able to see what happens because you don't have to push the balloon all the way in, you only have to sort of push it there like that. Then when you blow it up, if you watch carefully here, alright, if you watch carefully, See? It blows itself in there. So you get it. Now, of course, you can see that through there. You can see the, the blue one through the red. But if that was red and it was blown up a bit more, you wouldn't. And then all you do is burst the balloon with, in this case, and there's your silk. All right? But to get the silk in the first place, all I did was this. When I put it in my pocket, okay, I didn't just put it straight down into my pocket. I put it down and then tucked it back up here. Can you see? right down in there can you see this oh. <laughs> so all, all i did yeah all i did was just pop it straight inside and right up in the corner there okay and that's and that's how it worked all right now we're going to take this one step further now that you understand that and all the principles and all the workings of that I'm going to show all of you, with the help of, who's going to help me today? You're going to help me, and Christopher's going to help me. We're going to show you how to put a balloon and a pin together without bursting the balloon. All right, now Katie knows how this, done, uh, this is done, and so does Christopher. We've, we've organised for them. So why don't you take the pen, take the pin and the balloon, and watch closely this side, because Katie's going to show us. Come on, what are you going to do? I'm going to stick a pin straight through the balloon, and it won't pop it or damage the balloon. In any way? Yeah. Where's your pin? Yeah. Right, okay. Stick it Watch carefully. She's going to take the balloon and look at yeah. that. Ah! Oh, you did it! You did it. Well, you did it's it pretty No, you did it. You did it pretty close. Yeah. You actually did get the pin to go inside the balloon. Yeah. All right, but you can take the pin back out again. Christopher, do you want to try that? Okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> Good. Oh. Where are you going, Aaron? No, you got it. Okay, what do you have to do, Christopher? I'm going to try and put this needle oh. inside to the balloon. Right, well, that's not it. exactly inside, but just push it into the skin inside. without bursting it. Okay, so you gently, gently try to push it in. Oh, you got it. That's right. Oh, oh. Hey, that's that's pretty close. You must be a little bit careful though about the the size that you blow the balloon up, because if you blow it up too big, you'll burst it, and it can't be too small either. The secret is all you need is a little bit of sticky tape. Okay, for those, did you all pick that up? Did you see what, what was happening? All you did is take a little piece of sticky tape, just make it a, a, a little square of it, and stick it onto the balloon any way you want to that you want to put the pin into. So that when you take the pin and push it into the balloon, it actually pushes into the sticky tape, and the sticky tape holds the balloon part of it together and stops it from bursting. And then you can pull it back out again, and although it might leave a little tiny hole in the balloon, the air is coming out so slowly because of the sticky tape that nobody ever sees it. Okay, and it really does work. And perhaps after the break, we will manage to actually put the, put the pin right through the balloon and pull it out again. Now, I wonder how many people know much about the history of balloons. Do you know anything about the history? No. Well, a little later in the program, we're going to actually see somebody who does all sorts of things with balloons and makes animals. He blows them up. And, you know, those really long ones you get? Yeah. Right? He blows them up and he bends them into all sorts of shapes. His name's Cordell, and he uses balloons. But there was a fellow by the name of Eric Ansel, right, who started making balloons here in Australia back in... 1905. Were you around then? Oh, yeah. Long How long is that? 1905. Oh. Come on, come on. 83 years ago. Good girl, Katie. 83 years ago. 83 years ago he started <laughs> making balloons in Australia. And guess how many balloons are sold in Australia nowadays? Every single year. There's a 130 million balloons sold in Australia every year. Oh, wow. oh just before oh. we go, we go, just one more little juicy piece of information. You know that people go up in the air in balloons. Mm. 
-hmm. You've seen yeah. them fly through the sky. There is actually uh, a, a record that was broken. I read the Guinness Book of Records last night because I knew we were going to do things with balloons. And they said that the longest balloon flight ever to be done was a person who hopped in a balloon, went up in the air, and there was such a strong current that the wind carried him and carried him, and he went all the way from Japan to America. Oh. From Japan Gee. to America? True. True as I'm riding this bike. He went from Japan to America. No, not really, but it, it was true. He did go from Japan to America. And who was the first person to go up in a balloon? How long ago? You don't know, dear. Do Somewhere between 1707 and 1709. 1708. In Portugal was the first man who accidentally got this big balloon, pulled it with air, and floated up. Yeah, so there's a little bit of history and after the break we'll see how Cordell can bend some balloons, huh? Well, it doesn't look like I'm too good with those balloons, but somebody who is, I mentioned to him before the break, the great Cordell. He's a fine magician and he's a master of balloonology, which is the art of making animals out of balloons. So why don't we go and have a look at how he masters the art right now, huh? Okay. Oh. Thanks, Scott. Well, I've made up a few balloon models here, as you can see. Firstly, we've got this big swan. Now, it's made out of, out of three balloons, and I'll show you that size after. Now, we've got a small swan, like this one. Now, it's made out of just the one balloon, and I'll show you this balloon after. All right. We've also got this little parrot down here, it's made out of, out of two balloons of, of, of uh, different colours. We can paint the eyes and the nose and put some decorations on. You do this with a texture colour. Now, also here we've got the bee. This is what we call a bee, made out of two balloons. A long skinny balloon, like this one. And also, this one. You can see when that's blowing up, that's what you, that's what you get for the stinger, and and that's the bee. All right, now let's 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 start off, and and I'll show you how to make a basic dog. Now you use one of these skinny balloons, a long thin balloon, and we'll take it and we'll blow it up now. Well, up to out there. Now you take it like this, and you first you, you do three bubbles, which become the nose and the two ears of the dog. Now we need a neck. So we put the neck around. We, you have to judge how much balloon you've got left, and you also must leave some space in the end here. All right? Because that, that gets taken up as you make the twists. Now we've got the neck there like that, and we've got some front legs, like here and you can see the dog is starting to take shape. Now there's just one, two, three bubbles there, fourth bubble for the neck and two more for the front legs. Now you need, a, the, 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 well, the belly or the, the body of the dog, it goes in there, and then you do the back legs with two more bubbles, like that, round like, like that, put them into place, and look what you've got. One basic balloon dog. Now I want to show you a much more advanced model on that, and uh, you recognise that. That's a more advanced model of this one. That's, of course, the poodle with the pom-pom and the fancy head. This has just got the plain head. Now, let's take it further, and another little model, which we got here. A little balloon like this. It's a red balloon with a green tip. You see, that's it. This is the easy one. Take it off like that. Push it through there. Catch it, catch it. Take the finger out, a twist like that, and we've got an apple. But take it one step further. You take a well a drinking straw, put it in there, and look what we've got. One toffee apple. Yeah, he's great. Huh? The way he does that. Anyway, look, that ends the show for today. And don't forget that if anybody out there has got any questions on the magic they've seen so far, perhaps they'd like to see some new magic, 
or maybe they've just seen some magic that uh, they'd like to learn. If we can teach it to you, we will. And if you just have any questions on the magic you've already learned, write to us, care of the Magic Workshop, GPO Box 8777, Brisbane 4000. Just drop us a little line and say, please, can we learn this magic? Or how do you do that balloon one again? And if we can, we'll put it into writing. That's it for now at the Magic Workshop. Thanks, all of you. Please just leave me to clean up all the mess, won't you? Yeah, yeah. Yes, you will. All right, take care. Yeah, take the balloons with you. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye now. We'll going. see you next time on the Magic Workshop. Bye for now. Yeah, bye. <laughs>